Hello and welcome to the whiskey.com news on the 9th of October 2019. Yep, yeah, I am one day late and that is because we had the BCB in Berlin. That's a long way for me to go. So um, it took one whole day and it delayed the news for yeah, a day. So excuse me for that. So what's the news? We have Glenlivet and they're bringing out the capsule collection. It's not bottlings, it's not a series or something of bottlings, it's a very special kind of uh, cocktail, but it's a glassless cocktail. So they have capsules, I think a gummy bear or something biological that um, is not, yeah, it's biological and contains a cocktail of Glenlivet and other stuff. They are three different cocktails. So you take the cocktail into your mouth, you bite it, and then you have the cocktail in your mouth and you can just enjoy it. I've not seen it on the BCB, but uh, if you have ever seen it, uh, just link me in the comments or say, uh, have, a, have a go and say how you found the cocktail if you've ever tried it. Um, then we have Highland Park in the news. Um, there is a new 21 year old Highland Park coming out. It's 48% ABV, was matured in sherry casks. And the first bottling comes out this year. And it will be a regular bottling, so we will see more bottlings over the next years. But it will be a batches whiskey, so there will always be only batches and they will probably carry the batches and the vintage on them. Then we have uh, McAllen that is restructuring. Um, Christine Campbell uh, would, uh, was uh, announced for first malt master whiskey um, producer. And she was already with the company since 2007. So she is uh, a long term Edrington whiskey icon and she worked together with uh, their brands of Cutty Sark, the famous Grouse and Glenn Rothers. So she really knows what she's doing and now she is, uh, she went up in the ranks and now is representing the production team at McAllen. Then we have Belvini that brings out the new stories for the travel retail. So they kind of um, will be travel retail exclusives, but they will be uh, a bit different from the usual ones, but kind of the same. So uh, they will be the creation of classic, the week of Pete, the second red. And so they will be probably a bit different in, in style, just to make the travel retail series a bit different. Then we have Ben Romach, uh, which is in the news. Uh, and they bring out a 50 year old edition. This is kind of a recurring thing now. So I think we had a few others last weeks that brought out very old bottlings. And coming to Ben Romach, yeah. It's a 50 year old Ben Romach in a single cask with 125 bottles. And one bottle is to be estimated at around 10,000 US dollars. Dollars, So really, really, really high exclusive expensive bottlings. Um, next up we have news from Wales. Yeah, we go down from uh, Scotland to Wales and there is the Penderin Pender distillery. And as I've already had it in the news, they are trying to build a new distillery. And now they have found just the right place to do um, to build the distillery. They want to build it in the north of Wales and the small town they have chosen is called Landudon. Yeah, that's kind of a Welsh dialect or Gaelic or something. If you know how you spell it, just write it down in the comments. So I've never been there, <laughs> I've never been to Wales and it should be opened in 2021. So um, big investment of 5 million. British pounds into Northern Wales. Then we go over just the sea and we move over to Ireland. Um, Teeling uh, is bringing out the Renaissance series or actually they're just announcing them. It's an 18 year old Teeling whiskey, a single malt whiskey uh, matured in bourbon casks and finished in Madeira casks. It's limited and will be available uh, in 2020 which is next year with 46% ABV. Then we have news from the United States. 
uh, kind of a more of a not sub premium uh, news. Jack Daniels brings out their Tennessee apple whiskey. Yeah, the Tennessee honey and Tennessee fire was just such a massive hit. So they are bringing out a new liqueur with uh, an apple flavor and it will be the Tennessee apple. 35% ABV and it will contain old number seven with apple flavor. And then we have news from Kentucky. Um, not quite just Kentucky because it's Kentucky and Japan. And that means the legend now comes out in Europe, especially in Germany. So luckily we got one bottle and we will have the, the tasting in the next weeks or well, I think hopefully we will do, be able to do it next week. Uh, then we have Japan, news from Japan. Yeah, we know the Japanese whiskey industry is in a bit of a pickle because there is a lot of demand and they didn't invest enough in the uh, years to, uh, before. So there is a bit of a shortage. And Nikka, uh, the big company Nikka, uh, addressed this shortage and they're now investing $61 million into these shortages. Means they're gonna build new tanks, they're gonna build new warehouses, and they want to increase the production by 20%. And they even said they will um, end the shortages in the year 2020, which is a bit of a, what, uh, in the years, uh, 2030, 2020 would be too, bit too, too magical because when they invest now, they will get have whiskey in 11 years in 2030. But i um, a bit skeptical of how they can already predict what's happening in 11 years. Okay, they're gonna increase their production, but what about the demand? Will the demand also be increased in 10 years time? Maybe. So hopefully we will get more Nikka whiskey in the future. We will get 20% more Nikka whiskey and it will be, the market will be a bit more relaxed because the Japanese whiskey is good, but it's pretty overpriced at the, at the moment because of these shortages. So thanks for Nikka for investing into these shortages and hopefully we'll eliminate them. Thank you very much for watching and see you next week.